Hey guys, so uh, the topic of today's video, if you've read the title, is a little ironic for anyone who knows about the current situation, but I felt like God was really moving me to talk about His healing and His faithfulness in my life and just, you know, the many ways in which I've experienced that and the ways that I'm hoping to experience that in the future. And uh, so I guess to start off, um, the biggest, like, first moment of healing that I received from Him in my life was back in eighth grade when I gave my life to Christ. And uh, at the time, I was experiencing a lot of symptoms from diseases we didn't yet know about. But the biggest problem for me then was probably my suicidality and the suicidal depression that I'd been dealing with for three years at that point. And, uh, in one of my other videos, I explained, you know, my testimony and how I came to Christ. And essentially, I was about to commit suicide. Um, and I felt like God told me that my next suicide attempt would be successful if I didn't give my life over to Him and if I didn't stop playing at a relationship with Him. Because at the time, I had a very, you know, persona like Christian. Um, just, what's the best way to put it? I mean, it was talking the talk without walking the walk. Uh, but God called me to a legitimate relationship with Him, and I accepted, and immediately, that day, three years of suicidal depression just disappeared. Didn't have to take meds anymore, you know wasn't having to go to, to counseling for depression anymore, like, it was just gone. Um, and that was kind of the moment when I realized, like, oh, <laughs> this is real. But uh, there's been a lot of examples since then. So, of course, I've shared in a previous video that there have been a lot of health issues since then, and, you know, that I have a lot of diseases that I have to work hard to manage and that have not always been the most manageable. Uh, nine years since I really got sick, um, it's been really hard, I've had a lot of surgeries, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just, I usually talk about these things like they're happening to someone else, but it has legitimately been incredibly difficult, and going to sleep and almost dying many nights, and, you know, just, not being afraid to go to sleep is a challenge in and of itself because, you know, while I know on a factual basis that I'm not going to die a moment before God has me, you know, to leave the earth, like, it's still really scary and it's still really difficult. And, uh, so it's been, it's been very trying from that perspective, but I, as a result, I've been able to see a lot of his faithfulness in my life. And, uh, one such example moving forward in the timeline a bit was when I finally did get brain surgery in uh, the end of high school because I was up and moving around like in less than two days and I actually left the emergency room well not the emergency room the ICU um, after two days and went back to the hotel and I was supposed to be there for two weeks so I mean, that was just an act of God in and of itself, even if it wasn't, you know, a flashy, miraculous healing, like, getting through that surgery and then healing as quickly as I did was amazing. Uh, so, fast forwarding a bit from there, um, I also want to include the emotional healings. Like, God took me from, you know, deeply hating myself and wanting to die and dealing heavily with homosexuality and just the the inherent lack of identity and the pain and the emptiness that comes from that to you know my attractions shifting back to the healthy direction of being submitted to God and being able to be attracted to a woman and being able to you know see women as as other women as other and you know not be caught in just the the narcissistic and self-destructive lie that was homosexuality and homosexual identity um at the same time you know 
I've dealt with anxiety pretty much my whole life and God's given me a ton of victory over that to the point where you know if I'm keeping my disciplines and I'm staying obedient to him like I can go to bed at peace even though my health is really bad right now um, and that's only possible through Christ I mean that's there is no other explanation for that uh, moving up the timeline a little there was the need for heart surgery um, that was a few years back where they discovered a hole through the center of my heart that was causing issues and uh, right before we went into surgery like the day before we were doing confirmatory imaging just to find out exactly where it was so we could go in and patch it and it was gone it was just straight up gone and like we're talking imaging where they knocked me out and stuck cameras down my esophagus and like got a real view of my heart gone totally sealed up um then let's see ah yeah so the next one the next one um some of you know that a few years back i had three different surgeries done on this arm at the same time and that they were botched and so the result was tons of damage to my ulnar nerve and uh just you know, basically being unable to feel this half of my arm and growing extremely weak and all the muscle dying off and it's just not a fun time. Um, however, a few months back, I was praying for healing and I felt like God said he was going to do a healing, you know, very close to that time. And on the day that I thought I heard was supposed to be the day I was healed, you know, I thought nothing happened because I wasn't drastically, completely healed at that moment. And uh, I was super angry, I was super disappointed, and it took me a couple days. And after a couple days, I realized that all of the feeling in this right half had completely returned just like that. And so there's, you know, lots of examples of these little healings. And there's, you know, it's like breadcrumbs, how I've been thinking of it, and like prayerfully, I think that's the way that I'm supposed to interpret it. Uh, because God has shown me that he intends to heal me. I mean, he prophesied to me, you know, the words audibly, medical science isn't going to heal you, I am. And that was two or three years ago. Um, and through many other people since, he's prophesied his intention to heal me. And so, like, I know that that's coming, and I'm waiting patiently for that day. But there's been a lot of disappointment, there's been a lot of false starts, and I think those breadcrumbs have been scattered throughout the story just to kind of, you know, give me hope and keep me going. And it has, I mean, it's, it's still been really, really hard and sucky, but uh, it has motivated me to keep believing in him and to keep pursuing him with my whole life regardless of what my circumstances might be and uh, as a result I mean we've accomplished a lot you know many of you don't know me and are new to all of this uh, in which case I recommend you go back and listen to some of my other videos that tell my story but a lot of you know you know just what an impact he's already used me on well used me in anyway um and you know i believe that god has also promised that after that healing and even while i'm waiting for it he'll use me to change the world with my story and just with the way i would live my life for him um so you know the the factual basis of knowing that i'm not going to die before i've done that has at least allowed me to subvert terror <laughs> but to curb that anxiety and that fear and you know a lot of that brokenness that comes with a lot of these traumatic experiences like the only thing that's remedied that is having a solid relationship with him and submitting to him and being under his protection um you know he's healed me a lot of other ways emotionally just in trauma therapy and stuff dealing with uh you know a lot of the the really difficult and 
horrifying things that happened to me in my past and even that are happening to me right now. Um, and then there's the future hope for healing. I mean, I've talked a little bit about why I believe that's going to happen, but it's been incredibly difficult to wait for. Uh, this most recent visit to Colorado, as I came back, I started feeling great. I was sleeping. I was at peace. I was trusting God. I was really starting to feel like, hey, maybe I can have a normal life. Maybe healing is close. Maybe I can get my life together. And then... I have been in and out of the hospital for the last week. Um, I've developed POTS, which is a disease that essentially gives you tachycardia every time you stand up, but also every time you go to sleep, and it messes with your breathing, and it messes with your heart, and it messes with your digestion. And like I had dysautonomia before, but it's a more severe form. Uh, and it's essentially like my adrenaline is working all the time now, so you know, I'm not sleeping and I'm not digesting things properly and my blood pressure is super low so you know, I almost pass out a lot. I've had to start doing infusions in order to be hydrated enough to not pass out. Just uh, shit kinda hit the fan. I mean, I had two nights where my dysautonomic symptoms were so bad that I wanted to die. I mean, I was straight up just laying there with uh, having anxiety attack after anxiety attack, racing heart rate, vertigo, dizziness, diarrhea, like, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it was a nightmare, and, you know, now I found out that those two days are not isolated, that that's my reality now. And not a lot is known about the causes of POTS, but there's no cure, and all you can do is fight like hell to manage it day to day, constantly checking your pulse and your blood pressure, drastically changing your diet and schedule. I mean, it's it's been really, really awful. And it was very difficult for me not to blame and hate God because in my experience and my expectations, we were so close. You know, I felt like I was just around the corner from healing and now I feel like we're a million miles away and we're starting this new medical journey where, you know, I'm seeking new doctors and a new team and trying to figure out how I can manage these symptoms and have a life. But I know that God has called me to a dream and that he's going to empower me to fulfill that dream. And so I still have hope because God is unchanging and his promises are true and he can't lie because it's against his character. He can't deny himself by telling a lie. And so the saga continues. I mean, I, I'm in a season of, of deep suffering and confusion and difficulty and I'll admit I'm frustrated and I'm angry and I'm confused, and, you know, I don't necessarily know what the next step is. But I'm drawing closer to him now than ever. And I'm pressing into discipline and to submittance and to actively acting forgive, asking forgiveness for just being so super pissed with him. And he understands. I mean, God's a big God. He understands my frustration and my anger and my lostness and uh, how expectation led me to believe something was going to turn out differently than it did. And then that expectation being subverted leading to me blaming God because, you know, if it's anyone's fault, isn't it his? And it's like, actually not. What really led to this was several days before... I got really sick and ended up in the hospital for a few days. The disciplines he's asked me to keep, I blatantly ignored. And I did that because I was angry with him. <laughs> and so I couldn't draw on his blessing and his protection when, you know, I was blaming him for things that weren't his fault and I was selfishly and arrogantly trying to do things my own way. And so even just two days of rebelling against him and going against those disciplines took me out of 
that hedge of protection and Satan came in and rocked my whole world and almost killed me multiple times. And I'm still here and I'm still kicking by the grace of God. I wake up every morning and sometimes I don't go to sleep and so can you really call it waking up? But you know, the thoughts there and uh, he's still providing me what I need even though I'm facing a financial crisis and a health crisis again and uh, you know just heavy emotional burden and the trauma of almost dying as I was trying to sleep three more times in the last month but you know despite all the pain and the difficulty I know that God is present and I know that he's good and I know that he loves me more than I could ever fathom and that I can rely on him and that I can continue to turn to him in this time and that turning away from him is pointless. Turning away from him has absolutely no benefit in this context or any context for that matter. I mean, you know, well, the only thing I can successfully do apart from God is make my situation worse. Like the best pathway for my life is to follow him even if it's through hell and high water like it is still the best pathway for my life because God is providing for my every need and he's loving and caring for me so I just wanted to give testimony to you know the many smaller healings that God has performed in my life as well as the much greater healing that I'm still waiting for but that I'm waiting with patience-ish and with faith and I just want to encourage anyone who is suffering deeply not to rebel against or to blame God because I believe me I realize how easy it is I mean even after all of the miracles I've seen him do I still do it you know we're we're petulant and we're foolish and we're selfish and like he knows that and he has mercy and grace with that and I just encourage you to pursue the God who loves you without limitation and who provides for your every need whether you're crediting him for that provision or not and who is wanting to open up a whole nother world for you and give you every part of himself and lead you through the most fulfilling life that you can possibly live if you'll just submit your life to him, accept Jesus as Lord, and be changed. It's not our default, and it's not easy. It is the narrow road. It is, you know, the most difficult path. But it's also the most worthy and the most fulfilling, and I would not change anything that's happened to me. And I wouldn't live any other way except for to try to submit to him even more and to try not to rebel and run away and be a coward like I tend to default to but uh, I pray that this is a blessing to those who are listening and if you've made it this far like and subscribe and share the video with anybody you think would benefit from this and uh, if you haven't then hopefully you got something out of it God bless and take care.